People in the West, man, they always try to categorize us, put us all together. A lot of people come up to me and they're like, oh man, hey, where are you from? <laughs> I'm <grown> from Egypt. <laughs> really? I, I got a friend from India. I have never heard of comedy in the Middle East. <laughs> we don't even understand basic joke construction. So long as our relationship is defined by our differences. We will empower those who sow hatred rather than peace. Before, it's not allowed to have lots of people saying comedy about politics and talking freedom. But right now, it's become more free and people start to speak loudly. We're not used to seeing the soldiers. We're not used to seeing that guns on the corners. They're like, they're there for your safety. OK. <laughs> It's good to lighten things up here sometimes. Things can get heavy. I think this area is just learning how to laugh because of the intensity of their reality. Some parts of the Arab world, you know, they've had such an unlucky situation that they have developed comedy as a tool of relief. Security. Comedy crosses borders. It's uh, it's the common language of the word. The role of the comedian is to kind of speak truth to power and to point out the obvious, point out things that pe maybe people aren't talking about. First time female comic in the Middle East performing. Before I came out here, everyone you know was like, oh, be careful, like they're oppressive women over there. And I come over here, and it was the opposite. <laughs> This is the first comedy show ever in Alexandria, Egypt, so we're making history as we speak here. Like you say, what's best than to laugh at ourselves? We laugh at ourselves, the rest of the world will laugh with us. We laugh at ourselves. Want to hear a really bad joke? Let's get to it. I have a very dirty one. <laughs>